92 overall, 94 pace, 92 shooting, 93 passing and dribbling, 84 defending, 85 physical. An absolutely amazing card. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today we're back with another SBC tutorial. So let's get into it. So 6 p.m. hit and there was sort of a bit of a, a wave of disappointment around the community because Sunday's normal upgrades day. We did get upgrades, but not in the way that we wanted it. We also got the Hatboa SBC, which we're going to talk about today. Uh, but the upgrades that came out were obviously we've got the usual challenge, but 82 plus player picks. And you're thinking, got up from 81. Good, good chance of getting someone good. Hopefully good requirements. And that's where we are wrong, because it's an 81 rated team with 70 chemistry, it costs about 16k per pick. I've seen so many just showing up as 82s. The market's all over the show at the moment. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm going to be avoiding these. Uh, I'd have loved to have done them to get some uh, path to glory players, but just simply not worth it. We also got the 81 to 87 play pick, and then check out that dynamic image from Joe Willock. Solid indeed. Probably one of my favourites in this game this year. So... The Hatboa SBC, let's take a look at that card. 92 overall, 94 pace, 92 shooting, 93 passing and dribbling, 84 defending, 85 physical. An absolutely amazing card. Four star, four star, and those is in games there. Like, you should look at his in games. Like, good, good pace split. 92 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. Uh, the 93 finishing, 97 crossing, 96 short passing, 90 long passing. 92 agility and reactions, 94 balance and dribbling, 93 ball control, decent defensive stats, 93 stamina, 80 strength, an amazing card all around. And costing only around 120 to 130k at this moment in time. Only requires one squad as well. And Netherlands are playing Macedonia tomorrow. Obviously, Netherlands have looked really impressive in their first two games. So if they get that third win, it's going to become a 94 rate card. And for 120k... Is going to be either a good starter or a very good impact sub. Could even come on as sort of a, a central midfield role if you really need it. But yeah, should get that upgrade potential of getting further upgrades. Just depends how Netherlands do it in the knockout stages. But yeah, let's go and take a look at what you need to do to complete him. So the requirements are one Netherlands player, 86 raid and 55 chem. So as I mentioned, about 120 to 130k. Uh, I'm using all these players because they're untradeable. Uh, and yeah. We've come to the point now where, what, mid to end of June, I should have a bit of fun. So, uh, yeah, all in trade. Well, we're sending Golovin as well, um, putting two 90 rates in the squad and using, like, 83s to bring it down. So, yeah, we're using the Path to Glory, Golovin, who I packed untradeable, and he's, like, 40k. Russia are going out of the tournament, so, yeah, he won't be getting any upgrades anytime soon. Then we've got Castiles, Skriniar, the uh, Senesi sort of um, season progress card, uh, Herodeki. Uh, Witzel, Royce, uh, Sabitza, Berkey, because I've got a Jupiter to use him. Foot Berthy Huntelaar, three star, five star. Yeah, he was a free card, but I played squad battles with him. I played three against squad battles. Not worth keeping on to. Uh, and then another card that I did was free card, was headliners, uh, Matthias Kunner from Hertha Berlin. Four star, four star. Never played a game with him, never will. And the good thing is, like, I've still got all these high rated cards as well. So when we do get the good SBCs drop him, although it is end of June now, um, still got plenty of cards to use for those. I'm really looking forward to that Sergio Ramos end of an era card. Hopefully it drops sooner or later, but as you can see there, got plenty of fodder. So yeah, let's go ahead and submit this, and we get the Hatboa card. You can go straight into my weekend league team as a, a substitute, of course, because uh, I've got a pretty solid start in 11. We had Netherlands Nation player complete, Hatboa done, and he's going to get his upgrade on Friday, should Netherlands beat Macedonia tomorrow. Coming out is England kit, number 33. Um, yeah, but solid, solid player. Hopefully gets that dynamic image updated soon. Uh, but yeah, Berkey can now go to the um, uh, club as well. But yeah, this is the weekend league team. Um, and then we'll get Hatboe in here. Oh, not him. That's Perrin. Got Renato Sanchez on the bench. Uh, but yeah. Can I put him in? Do I put him in instead of Kimmich? Kimmich is better than most stats. Maybe I'll wait for his upgrade. Uh, but yeah, when you compare him to sort of like... Um, I think I think people were saying Lucas Vazquez. Lucas Vazquez. Team of the season. Where are you? There he is. So when you compare him to Lucas Vazquez team of the season... 
Uh, both got the same pace. Hapwerg got better shooting and passing and dribbling, depending on the physical. So, very, very similar card. Vasquez is currently costing, when it loads, just a bit more expensive. So, yeah, like 175-ish K after tax. So, yeah, 178K. Save yourself 50K, and he's going to go up to 94 once Netherlands get that third win. So, I'd 100% recommend doing Hatboa. Hopefully... Hopefully, we're getting that Ramos card soon because that's the next upgrade to my team. Get Ramos in um, there. And then I'd swap Dybala and Akuna around so everyone will still be on chemistry. Um, the other option, if we don't get Ramos soon or Ramos isn't to my liking, is getting that path to glory Edda Militao in. And yeah, he wouldn't need to change the team around then because he'll get a strong link to Roberto Carlos and links to Edison as well. But yeah. That's all I've got time for on today's video. If you have enjoyed it, do hit that like button. Comment below what you think of the Hatboy SBC as this video helped you complete him. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.